Alright, so we're going to um, Deer Park to meet Jack Phillips and pick up a GTST uh, brake kit. All those are going in there. Step one, jack up the car. Are you this is an instructional video? Wait. Yeah, I'm gonna do step by step because I'm <laughs> sick of people in the comments saying, you no. skip this step. No. <laughs> no. Be careful with those rims, Jacob, I don't want that. Hey, Fonz. Step two, remove the wheel. Whoa. There's a big flat spot it. Yeah, because I, I did, um, I ripped a handbrake. <laughs> <laughs> on the way here, that might be it. Step three, pull the pin out. What, what, what step are we up to? Step three, or step four. I don't know which one we're up to. Should we try it with the gun? Yeah. Alright. Do you reckon we'll be able to do it? No. No? no? I can Oh. That's a big smile, man. Step three, undo that bolt with the little screwdriver thing. You just did step three <laughs> or four. And step three or four three. or five, I don't know. We're undoing some bolts. <laughs> We're not putting the new handbrake shoes in yet. We're pulling this all apart on the into every single piece. We're going to clean up each individual piece and then we're going to reassemble the whole thing on the S14 knuckle. So when you get up to this stage when all the brakes are off and you've got the hub still left in, I'll show you, and the backing plate, I'll show you how to remove those. First of all, take this big nut off here and replace it with a non nylock nut so then you can screw this on. Then, just to loosen things up, give that one whack. Should be enough to push it through. Use something to press on the edge of the hubs and just tap the hub out. It might be a little bit harder to take out than that. Then we get the backing plate and remove the rest of the backing plate. That's how it's done. Lunch time. Nice. Have to stay up there. Oh, dude. Dude, you can actually fit in these back seats. It's pretty good. Yeah, you actually can. Everyone come for a ride on the Sprinter. Cameron was in charge of writing down the list of parts that we need. We need cotton buds, a rake handle, and bread for flood. You idiot. Let's see our bag of goodies. Caliper paint, not for the calipers, for the backing plate. That one for Break 180 bucks. bucks. Yeah, dude, there's a... The receipts in there, cut pins, slip pins, whatever you want to call them. It's all there. This is a Dale special. Listen carefully to the ingredients and then order this yourself. We highly recommend. I always have a large uh, classic double chicken burger meal with extra hot pasting, uh, bacon, egg, cheese, caramelized onion, coke for the drink, very, very salt on the chips. Yeah, I'm doing it now. <laughs> Why is this not on the Nando's menu? You've got to compress it. Mm. Mm. How was the secret burger? Oh, it was delicious. It was ridiculous. It was amazing. It was the best. 
thing I've ever heard in my life. We're back from lunch. We've got to do the entire front brakes. We've got to finish off the rear. The rear is the hard part. Um, and then what else? That's it. Yeah. So we're switching to drum brake, rear handbrake. And we've got the special shoes to go on that handbrake. These are Project Muse. Let's have a look at how good they look. Basically, anyone that uses Project Mew is a real drifter. Yeah, that's right. Instant drift. Can you please shut up for one second? What else we got here? Alright, this is some GK Tech parts. Oh, you got the studs. That's really good. All right, braided brake lines, one step ahead of you. And this one I'm really excited about. Bolts. That's not the bolts. What is it? This is the brake master stopper. These, these have got like literally zero instructions. All right, it's time to take the brake caliper off for the very first time. Now we have a line sitting here. What's the point of extended wheel studs, Jacob? Um, I don't know, like street cred or something? Yeah, street cred. Yeah, street cred. We got a new item coming to our online store. It's a braided, braided line um, necklace. Braided line, braided line necklace. What happened to the front braided lines? They're in. They're installed? Yeah, I chucked them in, man. Oh, nice. That's all I did today. I put in some braided lines. But I ran out of time to do the back ones, so all I've been able to do today is get the fronts in. And um, I don't know. Now it's time to reassemble the rear handbrakes and put the handbrakes back on the car. So we've got the S14 knuckles here. These are the S14 hubs. These are the R33 calipers, and this is the um, R33 backing plate. So we'll just put this on here, reassemble all these parts. On, you know, on here, and we've also got the Project Mew handbrake shoes, which sit around here. Yeah. Yeah. 86 exhaust is louder. I don't like how loud it is. So I think it's going to leak. Hey everyone, this is Sam. Hello. <laughs> He's assembling our brakes for us. He's probably not getting paid enough for this right now. No. <laughs> <laughs> This is Dale, he's doing the other side. We did offer Sam a drink of water. Yeah. He I refused. Think it's the last water that you guys have. <laughs> for a year. Until we get more subs. Until we can afford more water. <laughs> There's one VB in the fridge, Sam. No, but no well you can't have it because it's Dale's. <laughs> <laughs> We've installed the Skyline handbrake assembly, so now we're going to put the discs and caliper on there. So the disc goes on easy as it just slides on. Like that. And we'll wind this caliper up onto the new braided line. Yeah, that's good. That's basically installed. The front brake upgrade is so easy. It's just a matter of unbolting the old calipers and then put, putting the new one on. So I'll just show you the reassembly. Just pick up the new rotor. Slide that straight on. We've got our R33 front caliper here and this just slides straight over the rotor. It's quarter past ten, um, we've got all the brakes on, um, all we've got to do now is go over, check all the bolts are done up properly, then we're going to bleed the brakes, then we're going to install the brake master stopper, then we're going for a test drive. I want everyone to know that we read every comment and we take every comment really seriously and on our last big brake install someone mentioned that we didn't film installing the handbrake cables so we're filming it for you guys this round so please enjoy it so the handbrake cables run parallel with each other from each side of the wheel through um, the middle of the 
the chassis here. There's two cable managed clips, one on the start of the corner here and then one at the top before you screw this bracket in here and they run right next to each other until they clip onto this little bracket in the end. It's very easy. Even I can do it. Is this the first thing you've done to your car? This is the only thing I've done today. Let's test fit the wheel and see if it clears the brakes. Yeah, boy. Many no whackers. We are bleeding the brakes. We're installing a brake master stopper. This just screws in here. It stops the master and stops any flex in the firewall. So it's so easy. You just get a screwdriver and you pop out the factory grommets. I wonder what these were even for. It's for GK Tech. Yeah. So we're done. It was that easy. Yeah, yeah I told you. Easy as piss. Back and forth. Will's just locked straight up. <laughs> that was awesome. Yes, to the team with a 180 front, extended glove control arms, cut and shut knuckles, track car. No interior. Straight pipe, 